me Ivan. So today <coughs> we're gonna do like some coding. So the coding we're doing today is about like you know like last time you know we what we did the last time we did like <coughs> sorry like we did we did like a puppy thing and we also did that checking video but this time like if you have like this is not a puppy this time so you need you probably need to get started with the instructions but today we're going to basically be doing the the you know the car like the car thing it's not actually a car but we're just going to make it follow the black line so you might need to go online and buy some black black tape because that's and and white tape for this project white white tape and like i think black tape is your option but like there's thin black tape either but that's basically yeah what's all about so you might need to buy some fuel supplies, but you can also use regular tape, clear tape, and tape papers with just a ruler and just like a puzzle, just like put the black markers. Like use black markers, markers on the paper if you if you don't really need to use it much and you don't just want to do just buy that. So so I think let's get started. <clears throat> so first we need to win left button press. And then we need to go to control and stop other stacks. And then go to motors and then set C set speed to 50. Then we need a wait. Wait, let me see where is that block. Okay, it's in the sensors. Wait until color is three so <clears throat> now it depends uh when you follow the instructions there's like you like if you're like a little pro at this you can plug in anything but now i'm I'm actually following my robots like code like the plugs and lines so you might need to change your one of your motors to c and the, the other one to b the wheels one so it's c and b you look on the instruction it might tell you what to do and then the three, the wind to this is the center's line. The center's line, if you have like this one, two, three, four on the on the back of it. So the so if you plug in one, you choose one, two, two, choose two. If you press three, you choose like me, and four, you choose four. <clears throat> so that so you get so don't if your code doesn't run, please just check on that. So now we need just a stop mode. Okay, wait. Stop mode. Okay. It's supposed to be C start motor. <clears throat> now we need a when right button. When right button press. So this is gonna start the code for all, but just code all of them. Just don't just code just one of the right. It's this is gonna like basically the game loop. So for this, so just drag an if else in. And then go into go into sen sensing and get the story as reflected light intensity less than. Okay, now I'm, we need to get a bit tricky. So I so when you're coding, you might find some like your floor might be white if you're it <coughs> or like different color, like greater than white. So you might need to change that net less. Than, my was less than negative thirty. Neg less than thirty, but you but. The, the proper one is seven but sometimes the robot when it's turning turning to left and right it gets on like it gets bit onto the it gets like on the floor or carpet or whatever you're using to make it to place a tape on tape it so you might need to just adjust that and also add more tape to corners like like straight corners you mean like you know i'll be like yeah that you're supposed to do. So you might need to. For me, I'll just do thirty. But if your floor is really white, because mine is not, it's just, it's on a layer of carpet. If your floor is really white, you might need to change that to something else. Because, 
like see if i change it to seven like when it's like for example my mouse is the robot if it's turning up like it's going left to right left and what if this this is the center so this sent the mouse is center so if the mouse hits the the white area it would just turn around and go the other direction so you don't want that to be happen so just change that to 30 for case but if it's not working change that to a higher value if it's too like big just change it to a lower value so we this is a lesser value so we're just gonna start go to movie and start moving at 025 so that's gonna just occasionally turn it <coughs> <coughs> And then duplicate that, and then put that in the out, and and then three is reflected greater than three, and then put that twenty five zero, so it's gonna turn. And the else, we're gonna make that twenty five twenty five, so it can just move forward <coughs> normally. So now, when you're done this, uh, <coughs> let's go to the up. Go when up button press. Like this. Then you will need like a bit. <coughs> Calibrate. Okay. So now. You might need to know where the calibrate. But the calibrate. In like the old. The, the regular Mindstorm. You, I don't think you can do that. Because this is. is maximum. It's always. It's. I think it's only the. The EV3. I have Mindstorm and EV3. So I think like you can. If you have both. You can also test both. If the other one. You can like do the same robot. But I don't think that will probably work. Now here. Now here. You need a play sound. Play beep. 72. Like it's a louder one. 72. So you're gonna just change that to 72 here, or you can just and 0 0.2 seconds. So in Scratch, you can just click it and it will play. But now it's just so you might if you don't want the beat, just delete it. But it it's a good thing, so it can show you a sign that your code is working. If your code is not working, that means your beep is not working. Later, you can remove it when you're sure, but not not now because when you remove it, that's of course not not testing. So if you have a bug, you don't know. So now down, it's basically, it's minimal here, not maximal. And then it's play beep 60. So I'll just type 60 in. Sometimes the, you see in the piano, yeah, just like in a small piano, it needs to go faster and then, yeah, you might need to change a bit. So, watch out for that. So now, and now when center button press. <clears throat> okay, I'll tell you something. Like, my robot's not connected right now, as you see on the left top, left, top left. But, but I have a robot by so if you are connected to the robot, you just see like like sometimes when I like I think when I was doing the puppy thing, this was connected to puppy. So then they will see like those like uh, a like whatever your motor. It's simply C B, but or else you should uh, you have to you have to put it to C B or it's not gonna work because or you have to just change your code here if you don't want if you don't like to do a cb so you should see the color sense is working okay that so if you're okay it might be hard to explain but you should see like one of these icons you see these blocks and then on top of you should see the color sensor if the color sensor like here is greater and less than three if the color sensor is like how about 31 percent it's good it's going to just turn around and go the other direction so that's probably you need to watch out for. Just put it on there and then you like scan what color type so you know what the bug is. And next is motor C and B. I'm not gonna just do it one but I'm gonna do it both. Like when it's turning it will like it will change the values like every sec every millisecond by one. So 
I think that's how you do it. And then when I do it, when it gets to millions and trillions, you might not like how it looks. Some, like for me, some people might lock, not like it like how it's getting that way. So this, if you press the center button on your robot brick, EV3 brick, you should, it, it will just, it will just basically just reset that. And also, since I talked about, I did something wrong here. It should be, it should be like a reset reflected light and sent a calibration. So it's going to res reset all of these. But the, the sensor won't do any <clears throat> harm because it's still going to be forever sensing whatever you're doing. So that's a beware of. So if you don't see that working, that's fine for the color sensor. So I think, yeah. I think we're going to end it for today's because, like, yeah, we cut it a lot. So, so, so today we will just end it here. This is a small, short episode, I know. But I think, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys keep the subscribe.